Hi there, welcome back to Acquired Taste. My name is Rachel. I'm a part-time reseller on primarily Poshmark and eBay. And today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my largest thrift haul uh, to date that I've filmed so far. Um, I think the last biggest one that I had was about $400. This thrift haul, we spent uh, $502. And there is a lot of stuff you can't tell probably maybe you can see this stack of clothes over here uh, but behind the camera there's like a whole bunch of other stacks of clothes so um with that i'm just gonna kind of hop right into it um this is the first time we had been to this thrift store at salvation army um and we've gone like three times since then we do have some other giant thrift hauls that I'll do later, but I'm just gonna hop right in and I'll, if I can remember what I paid for everything, I'll let you know. All right, so first, uh, dresses, I have them categorized. I have two dresses and then I've got a bunch, I'll start with the tops and then I have some jackets uh, and then I'll go into like pants and shorts. Um, but dresses were $7.99. So this is uh, Giorgio St. Angelo. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm uh, pronouncing that right, but I do know that this is a very good brand. So um, this is, I believe, a higher end brand. I think they sell it on the Real Real. It's this long, like, knit dress, if you can tell, um, short sleeved. It's a size 14, um, and I think I can profit pretty well off of this so I have to look at some comps but um, I think it's I'm I, I'm guessing I can sell it between 50 and 75 dollars maybe more I, I just know that this is a more a designer brand that's desirable um, next I think this is the only other dress that I purchased on this day and it's new with tags it's Zara so here's the tag and I don't pick up Zara so much it doesn't sell super well for me but when it's new with tags um, I do like to pick it up and this was like a army camo print it's kind of it's sheer but it's got these layers um, these tiers to it on the bottom and it's long sleeved and I liked that and um, I'm trying to yeah so this is a size small so I don't know maybe I can sell that for 40 bucks We'll see. Uh, next, I'm going into tank tops. So tank tops at the store were $1.99. Tank tops and t-shirts were both $1.99. So um, I was kind of looking for anything that I knew or um, anything that I knew would flip for decent. I try to pick up things that are gonna flip for, uh, you know, I wanna make more than, um, my goal is $20 per item, but for things that I know the brand and I know it'll flip quick, I wanna make like more than $10. So uh, first we have Athleta. Here's Athleta. So Athleta, actually their corporate headquarters are near me. Um, and so we find a lot of Athleta. And this is just a gray tank top on the back. It's got um, kind of a, a scoop back, um, just a basic gray tank workout tank top, but I'll take it for two bucks. And if it doesn't sell, it's a size medium. So I'll wear it once, you know, I have this baby. I'm, I think I've mentioned it before. I'm pregnant. And so, um, you know, a lot of things don't fit me recently. <laughs> um, the next piece I have here is one I don't typically pick up, but I really liked this crocheted floral detail, but this is Toby. So earlier in my sourcing days, I kept getting Tibby and Toby mixed up. So Tibby's really the one that I'm looking for, but I do like this crocheted um, floral detail on it. And um, I think anything with blue, any blue tags, um, the things that they use, like this is a clear tag for this one, but anything with blue is half off this day which my Goodwills don't do any half off days or anything. Uh, so it was nice going someplace new where they do. Uh, I bought this because it was super nostalgic to me. So this is just Nickelodeon. Uh, it's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles top. I believe uh, the purple one is Don. Well, there's a D, so I'm wondering if it's Donatello. <laughs> Uh, but my husband's gonna kill me. It was his favorite one. Anyways, so this is a size uh 2x so i'm hoping that this will flip quick it's just really fun i liked it two dollars i'll take it um here we have this does isn't necessarily a name brand it's local lab i don't think it's a really high-end brand but the reason i purchased it is because it's coachella 
and it's really soft. So um, Coachella merchandise does pretty well. And then this also is a blue tag, so it was about a dollar. So I'm hoping that I can flip that. And it doesn't have... It doesn't have a year on it or anything, and it's a size extra large, which is impressive. I don't think that I would fit into that, <laughs> and I'm uh, not an extra large, but who knows. Next, uh, this is also only a dollar. It's short-sleeved, and this is just a basic Everlane top. So I really like, that's the brand there, Everlane. I really like Everlane. Their jeans tend to do well for me. Um, but I saw this top and I decided to give it a go. It's only a dollar. It's kind of just a um, salmon. It's lighter than the salmon though. It's kind of like a rose color. Um, and that is the size eight, small, maybe small. Not sure, <laughs> I'll figure it out. Um, next. I, wow, was this, this was also a dollar. So this is the Nike tee, but it's San Francisco Giants. So I live in the Bay Area. Um, Nike Giant stuff, if it's in good condition, I mean, I, I got it for a dollar. I can probably flip this for like 20 to $22. So I'll take that. I, and I, I actually am a Giants fan. My husband is an A's fan. That's, you know, not fun during the baseball season. Uh, this next one was really exciting to me. So this also is half off. I've never found this brand, but it does, I've heard it does really well. So this is The Great, and I know that their pants tend to do well. So this is just a short-sleeved um, green and white striped shirt, and it has these like floral embroidered um, things on it. So this is a size one. I'll have to look up what that means, but I'm hoping this will do well and, and we'll see what the comps say. Next, um, this is $2. This is Bowden. It's just a short sleeve polka dot and stripe Bowden top. So here's what the label looks like. I actually like picking up Bowden. It, it sells fast for me, so I don't mind picking it up. And for $2, I can probably flip this for $20 and get a decent return on my money. This next one is Theory. So here's the Theory type. I think I got a couple Theory things in here. Um, but this is just a basic uh, tee. It's pretty small. Yeah, it, it, it literally is small. Um, but it's just a little striped tee. And actually the, or I, I don't want to say t-shirt because the material is super soft. Um, it's 100% merino wool. So uh, this should sell pretty well for me, maybe $30, $35. We'll see what the comps look like, but this is really soft and it was only two bucks. So I'm happy with that. Next, John Galt. So here's the label. I don't know, it's like a, it's just a gray long sleeve sweater um, and it's really nice as well. Um, it does feel a little bit worn, but John Galt, I'm not super familiar with the brand. I did buy it once and I flipped a shirt in like, I don't know, 24 hours. So I'm hoping that the brand is, you know, I'll have to do a little bit more research on it to really understand what I, maybe I had it um, under price. I, I don't know. And it just sold really fast. It says it's one size, which I, I hate one size clothing because that's not always true. Um, but I'll look it up. I'm hoping for a good return on that or at least to sell it pretty quickly. All right, this next one's really cute. So, uh, and I'm in the tops. So short sleeve tops, I believe are $3.99 or were $3.99 and the long sleeve tops were $5.99. So that, yeah. And then again, if it's blue, then that means it was half off. This is not. So this cute top is just um, blue and white stripes. It's got a button down and it has the, the tie bottom. Um, it's by W5. So I believe this was sold at Anthropology. I'll have to double check. I've only sold one other W5 piece before and it sold very quickly. So, um, and I believe that was sold at Anthropology. So I just need to double check, but that's really cute. I'm hoping I can flip it for 25, 30 bucks. Uh, or list it for $25 to $30 and see what happens. This next one is Anthropology, so HD in Paris. I know I've shown this brand in another haul before, um, but it was $3.99 and this is nice. I wonder if this is, it feels like linen. 
let's see. Yeah, so it's, uh, well, it's 40% cotton and 15% linen, 45% tensile. So, so it does feel like a linen blend. It's got this, um, it's got this cool pattern in the back. Uh, it's just a tank. Kind of simple and basic, but I really, I like it. And for, you know, $3.99, it's great. It's just, it's cheaper than my Goodwill. Uh, this next piece is Eileen Fisher. As you know, it's one of, well, if you've seen my videos, it's one of my favorite ones to pick up is Eileen Fisher. It sells really well for me. This top that I'm wearing actually is Eileen Fisher as well. Um, but this is just kind of a, a chambray top. It's buttoned down, um, nothing extremely special but it just tends to to move pretty quickly for me and this is a size extra small which i think is pretty oversized so i like that we'll, we'll see if i can find a cute stock photo to post um next let's see all right so this is just a button down shirt and i apologize it's not buttoned down it was half off so this is probably about two dollars it's oakley here's the you know everyone or most people are familiar with their uh, sunglasses, but they also do clothing. So I've, I've picked up a few pants. Maybe it'll be in later hauls. I just know that I picked it up. And then, um, this is a size extra large. I'm just curious to see how it does. I know their sunglasses sell for a decent amount, so we'll see. We'll see how the top does. Next, uh, Madewell. So I know Madewell is kind of going down in terms of uh, maybe not popularity, but the resale value, but I still love picking it up. They have really basic pieces. This is like a crop sweater, uh, three quarter lengths. And here's the tag made well. And this is a medium. So it's just very simple. I love the made well basics. I own a few myself. Next we have cabbie. So this is new label cabbie. Um, and here's the, the new label. There you go. The old label is like a black longer one and the letters are spaced out that spell out cabbie. So I know a lot of resellers don't pick up cabbie anymore, but it sells well for me. I may have said it in my other videos. It still sells pretty well for me. So I think I sold not too long ago. I sold a cabbie top for like $42 outright nobody they didn't make me an offer or anything and i was pretty surprised so um i'm happy to keep picking it up but this is just a black um i don't i wouldn't call it maybe it's a little bit like a sweater it's kind of a light pullover top um but we'll see i'll have to look at comps i'm not sure what i'm gonna get for that next uh this is anthropology as well so this is saturday and sunday here's the tag and it's just a long, or maybe it's a quarter, three quarter length sleeve top, um, has this really pretty detail in the front. It's a size small. So, um, I've sold one Saturday, Sunday piece and it sold literally like three minutes after I posted it. It was a, a gray cowl neck sweater. So I'm not sure if it was the style that sold or the brand, but I'm excited to post more Saturday, Sunday stuff and see what happens. Next is another W5, so I think it's Anthropology. This is really cool. It has this like sheer bell sleeve top and it's it's really neat in my opinion. So um, definitely oversized. It's a size large, but it feels really, really soft. So I think someone will appreciate that. Next, uh, this is Vince. Here's the label. So I, I like picking up lints, uh, lints, Vince. <laughs> uh, this is a sheer, uh, just kind of oversized uh, sleeveless top. And I think this has silk in it. Yeah, so it's 92% silk at 8% spandex. And then the trim is cashmere. Very interesting. So um, this is a good, a good find in my opinion. And we'll see, maybe I can sell it for $30. That's what I'm guessing. I don't know. Uh, this next one, I love the print. I just love the style of this one in general. So this is Dolan. Here's the tag. This is also sold at Anthropology. I love this top. So it's sheer. It has the, um, it's got, I don't want to say holes. It's not holes, but it's open right here. Long sleeve. 
Um, uh, it's a size small. I really like it. I wish that it was a little bit bigger, but it's got the pretty, it's pretty buttons in the front. Um, not sure what that goes for, but I really, I really like it. I wish it was my size. All right, next is CC. So this brand, in my opinion, is not super special. I believe it's sold at Macy's, um, but this is really pretty. It's just kind of this really, this blush pink. And on the sleeves, it's got these black bows on it. It's really cute, super lightweight. I've sold a couple CC pieces before for $30. Um, and I just really, I, I like it. So I might keep picking it up. <laughs> this next one is Anthropology. Uh, and it's a, this is a newer tag Anthropology. So this is Maeve. I think it's pronounced Maeve, but you can tell it's newer because it says by Anthropology. So Maeve by Anthropology. Um, they, Anthropology start, started putting by Anthropology on most of their pieces that they bring in and sell out of their store. But this is really cute. It's a size two. Um, so it's this mustard yellow with this like floral print on it and it's a button down shirt. And I think it's just really, really cute. So I don't know, maybe I can sell that again for 25 to $35 maybe. Uh, and here's another made piece. So here's an example of one that doesn't say by anthropology. It's like this big block uh, tag and it doesn't say by anthropology. Uh, so it's going to be older, but it's this like purple sleeveless, kind of got like a scribble design on it, button down. Um, we'll see. Maybe I can sell this for, again, $25 or so. Um, all right. Another cabbie piece. I don't know if I would have picked this up in the future, but again, it's the new label cabbie and it's just a thermal. It's just a really basic thermal. Um, I wonder if it was a blue tag I, can't, I don't know where the tag is um if it was blue tag then it was only like two dollars but i think it was four dollars so no, nothing really special it's just a ribbed uh thermal feels comfortable size small so we'll see what happens with that um this one is ben sherman so I've picked up a few Ben Sherman pieces. They haven't done uh, extremely well for me. And this one actually looks like it needs to be washed. Um, so I'll wash it. But this is just a short sleeved plaid top. Again, I think it was $3.99. So um, we'll, we'll see. I, I haven't picked up Ben Sherman. I think that was the last one I picked up for with the rest of the stuff that I have in my garage. All right, next we have Sparrow. So this is another anthropology piece. Um, and this is really cute. It's It's got this like mustard yellow button down ruffle in the front. And then this is actually, I don't know if the camera's picking up, but this is actually purple. It's like a, a purple and cream or purple and white stripe, uh, just little cardigan. And it's really soft. Um, and Sparrow, so not in my last thrift haul, but I think the one before, um, earlier this month or late last month, sorry, I'm not sure. Um, I had a Sparrow like knit sweater and it sold within a few days. So I'm hoping that the same will happen with this. Um, fingers crossed, but this is really soft. So fingers crossed that that sells well. All right. This is Michael stars. So I also haven't picked up a lot of Michael stars recently, but it's a turtleneck, um, long sleeve, kind of long top, nothing extremely special about this. The reason I was picking up Michael Stars for a while is I got this tank top from Michael Stars like for a dollar and I flipped it for like 18 really, really fast. And so I was like, oh, this must be a great brand. And it's not bad. Um, the quality is nice, but it also, um, other things have just been sitting since I sold that one. <laughs> I'm not familiar with this brand, but it's new with tags. It retails for $75. This is Ashworth. Here's the, the tag. Again, I'm not familiar with it, but it's a men's like golf polo, I guess. Um, and it has light blue, like peach and dark blue stripes on it. <laughs> I'll have to look it up. I don't know what the comps are on this, but I liked the, the retail value for it was 75. So we'll see, we'll see what that ends up being. 
Um, I don't typically pick up Lucky Brand, but this is really soft. And again, it was only $4. Um, but this is Lucky Brand. Um, and it, this is a ribbed sweater. It's, it's like a, a blue and white stripes, really soft. I wonder what the material is. It's, um, it's 74% viscose, 21% or viscose, sorry, uh, 21% polyester and 5% spandex. So the material feels really nice. Um, and, and it's like a higher, higher neck on it. So maybe I can sell that for $20. We'll see. Next Under Armour. So, uh, I say this in every video, uh, Under Armour, Nike, Adidas sells really fast for me. So this is nice. It's just a, a fitted cold gear, long sleeve gray top. Maybe I'll sell it for $18, 15. We'll see. Uh, so I have never picked this brand up before. This is Wilfred Free. Here's the tag. It's This is really pretty. And I actually, it's, it's a dress. I think they charged me as a shirt though. And it's got this cute cutout in the back. And it's super lightweight and really soft. Um, and I think the brand is pretty good. The material is 48% rayon, 48% polyester, and 4% spandex. So it's super comfortable feeling, and it just is really lightweight. I think, it, yeah, it's a size extra small, so it's, a, it's little, but, you know, would look really, really cute on someone else. Next, okay, so another Theory top. Again, there's the tag. Um, this feels like, must be linen. Yeah, it's 100% linen. So it's just kind of soft, lightweight, airy. Sorry, I'm trying to go fast. We haven't even gotten through all the shirts. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff. Um, next is Ted Baker. So I like picking up Ted Baker. I think their tops are really nice. This is blue, so it was only, mm, must have been $3.50 or $4, I think. Um, this is just, a, it's like a really pale blue. I don't know if the color is being picked up on the camera. Um, it's super pale blue. There's like some pinstripes on the front, um, this cool floral pattern on the inside. And I want to see if it's on the, it's not on the sleeves, but this is, uh, it's that pinstripe that matches the front. I like Ted Baker. I'm going to probably try and sell that for $40. All right. Next is Sundance. Here you go. I don't pick this brand up all the time, but this was 50% off and I loved the bottom of it. It's got these, this ruffle on the bottom. It's a little bit of a high low, um, but it's got lace and ruffles and I just think it's so cute. It's a size small, so it's an oversized sweater. Um, this might be something that I can wear, but it's really cute. So I'm excited to get that listed. Um, again, with Michael Starr's, you know the story, I told you the background on it. Um, I think this last trip I bought it, just a basic gray sweater. Nothing special. Next, I don't, oh, David Donahue, I believe. I've never picked this brand up. I think my husband actually picked this up, but it's a long sleeve button down top and it's a men's, men's top. It's got some, I think it's floral detail. I wonder if you can see what that pattern is. I, I don't know, uh, but it just says trim on it and it's a, uh, it says 17, 32 slash 33. So all you men out there watching this video, maybe you know what size that is. <laughs> um, next is another Athleta top. So I believe this is their older tag, but there it is. It's really cool though. I love this. It's almost like a poncho sweater. So it's, but it's short sleeved. It needs a little bit of sweater shaving, but it's really, really soft and oversized and comfortable. And in my opinion, kind of perfect for the season right now. All right, moving on to jacket. So this first jacket, jackets here, I think were $7.99. They may have been $9.99. I'm sorry, I'm not sure. So this first jacket is Marmot, so. Here's the tag. 
Marmot's a really nice outdoors brand. Um, they're located, their headquarters is actually only like 15 minutes away from where I live. And it's just this lightweight blue, um, it almost feels like a lightweight like rain jacket. Um, but it's a size medium. And uh, it's really, really nice. It's in like perfect condition. Okay, next. Let's see, what is this? I've never heard of this before. Um, I-O, I think. So it says I-O Tentry right here, but this is really, feels really nice as well. It's lightweight, um, it has a hood. It's kind of, kind of similar to the Marmot, just less noisy. <laughs> um, but we'll see, I have to look up comps. I am not familiar with the brand. If you're familiar with the brand or anything uh, that I'm showing here, please let me know. Cause I would love to, love to hear about it. All right, this next one was half off. Um, and it's Marc Jacobs. So it's not Marc by Marc Jacobs. It's actually Marc Jacobs. Here you go. It's really cute. It's kind of, uh, what color is this? It's a uh, tan, I guess, tan. Uh, there's fabric buttons going down the front. Uh, it's got pleats in the back. Cute, it's a size six. So I don't know what comps are on it, but, uh, you know, I have some Marc Jacobs purses. Uh, I have some that I'll do in a haul at some point, <laughs> but um, I, I'm gonna try it out and see what happens. Then this this last jacket that we have here is Saks Fifth Avenue. Here you go. And it's like this quilted button down jacket. It's just so pretty and really, nice I, I think it, it's got it might be a wool blend let's see it's 60 percent wool and 40 percent polyester so um it's really nice it's this long i guess i guess i'd call it a pea coat um and it's a size extra extra large maybe it's just a regular jacket but it's really nice so i love the larger sizes um, this actually may be a men's jacket. I gotta look it up, but uh, we'll see what, what we can sell it for. All right, I have two other jackets that I just, I, I threw in the wash. Um, maybe I'll put pictures up, maybe I won't, depends on how far I get. I, you know what, probably won't. Um, <laughs> but it's, it's a Columbia jacket. Um, and I was looking at my receipt and the, they actually may have forgotten to charge me for this one, but um, I think, but it's like a, a black and white Columbia snow jacket, really nice. And then the other thing I got was a really cool vintage reversible giants, like I don't want to call it a varsity jacket, but it's kind of like a varsity jacket. It's really, really cool. So um, it says uh, New York giants and on one side of the jacket and it's kind of that shiny, Oh my God, it almost looks like silk material um, and it's orange. And then on the back, or if you reverse it inside out, it's it's kind of more of the suede texture um, and it's the new you know San Francisco Giants and it's stitched and it's super cool and vintage. I can probably flip that for you know 90 to $125. I have to look at comps, but it's really, really cool. And I'm sorry, it's, um, I, I put it through the wash, not the dryer. I just wanted to wash it. Um, the instructions said it could go in cold water. So it's just drying right now. But anyways, okay. So I'm going to quickly move all this stuff out and bring in the pants. <laughs> so one second. Okay. So I have a couple sweaters left. Um, I have shorts, skirts, pants, and jeans, and I'll tie out the surf towel. <laughs> um, all right. So I'm going to keep going. The next thing we have here is Adidas. It's just a nice uh, lightweight jacket. It's got the three stripes on the collar here. It was half off with the blue tag. Um, I think I can just flip this pretty quick for maybe $25. This next piece is one of my favorite things that we picked up. So it's a Harley Davidson uh, and the Tasmanian Devil collab. So like Looney Tunes collab. I love this. So, and this is in really good condition. The only cracking is up here in the top and this is vintage. It's, and it's from 1991 and it says down at the bottom here, uh, just really, really cool sweater. I really like it. It's got, you know, it's pretty worn on the inside, but 
I think somebody's gonna love this and won't care and will love wearing it. But that's a really cool vintage sweater that I just fell in love with. Um, this next one is really nice. So this is Nike. It's super nice. It's fleece lined on the inside and it's just a really, really good quality pullover. Um, it's not their, I mean, it is dry fit, but it's not like their regular dry fit that's super loose. Um, but this is a 4XL and I love picking up 4XL. I just sold two Under Armour 4XL lightweight pullover tops in a matter of, you know, one was within a matter of hours, the other one sold within three days. So some th stuff like this and oversized is, um, or, or I'm sorry, plus size is, is great and, and I love it. All right, next is a pair. This is just, I don't even know what brand this is. It's Angel Kiss. I don't know. I think I thought these were American Eagle. They're a size seven, which I'm not even sure if American Eagle sells size seven. <laughs> um, but I like the shorts. I wanted to try them for myself. Now I'm pregnant, so I'm gonna try and sell them. All right, let's see. Next we have Callaway. So these are Callaway shorts. My husband loves Callaway shorts just like this. He wears them all the time, but they're Callaway golf shorts. Um, these unfortunately wouldn't fit him, but they're a size 40 and they're very lightweight and comfortable. Perfect for golf. Um, very nice. Here we have, all right. So these are AG, Adriano Goldschmied. I know I talk about, this is, I, I, this must be what they put on the men's tags. Well, some of them are bigger, whatever. This is AG. Um, this is a size 38 and this was half off, but we love picking up AGs. I just sold a pair of AGs the other day for, um, I think $30. Um, they weren't as popular of a style, but I don't care. I, I like that flip. So hopefully those will do well also. All right, we're into skirts. Those are the only shorts I got. This next skirt is Madewell. And I think it's new without tags. It doesn't look to have been worn and it also still has this. This isn't the Goodwill tag, um, but there's the label. It's this forest green skirt and it's in great condition. It's a size 12 uh, and I really like it. I love Madewell. Probably say that a million times on this channel. Next is Mod Cloth. So I think this is an online brand. I don't think it's boutique so much, but they have really popular styles. They, they actually are more known for their prints than just their basic pieces, but I'm hoping this will sell fast. It has the buttons down the front. They're, they're just fake buttons. Well, they're real buttons, but they don't have holes to, to open them up. I don't know if I'm explaining that well. There's a zipper on the side. That's how you open it up, not with the buttons. <laughs> um, this size large. We'll see how this does. I've sold one mod cloth piece in the past. Uh, it was like some Firefly print um, and it's still decent, but I wanna try it again. Cause I've heard some other resellers have better luck with it. Uh, this is another Theory pencil skirt. So this is a size two. It's pretty lightweight. It's got some pleating in the back. Um, just, you know, typical. Theory business attire skirt. And I think skirts are $4.99 at this Goodwill. I'm sorry, Salvation Army. All right, next is new with tags Fabletics. So here's the tag. It retailed for $69.95. It's a size extra small. And it's got like these, again, I don't want to say holes. Um, you know, cutouts, a cutout <laughs> over the whole thing. And then obviously there's a lining on the inside. So it's kind of like the linings for like basically a mini or a mini skirt. And then um, it's got these um, holes, <laughs> holes in it for the rest of it. So we'll see how that does. I swear pregnancy brain is just like the worst this week. I have not been doing great <laughs> with that. Um, okay, this next is Vince. This is also new with tags. So it does have a Marshalls tag on here for $40, but it also has the original tag for $195. So um, I'm gonna cut the Marshalls tag off of it and it's just a ribbed uh, pleated skirt. So crazy, $195. <laughs> um, I won't list it for that much, but 
Um, great, I love seeing those retail tags on, on there. Um, it makes the item obviously hasn't been worn. All right, next is Sam Edelman. So I showed a Sam, Sam Edelman piece in my last haul. It also was a skirt. Um, and this is just a little pencil skirt. Uh, it's got a cute detail on the back with the mesh and it's got these diamonds in the design and there's a slit. I believe it's the front. Yes, it's the front. Um, so we'll see how this does. I was trying to see if there was a slit in the back, but there is not. I have no idea what that will go for. I think the Sam, actually, I think the other Sam Edelman skirt I listed was, I listed it for $40. I saw the comps were kind of all over the place. There were some for 20, but majority of them for like 50 or more. Um, but I did it for 40. All right, we're into pants. I'm getting winded. I need to work out. Um, J brand. So I like J brand. And actually these were half off. So pants at this store, I believe are also... Okay, so pants are $5.99 and jeans are $9.99. That's what it is. So this was blue. So this is only $3, but these are really cool. They're like a velvet bell bottom or flare. Look at how awesome these pants are. I love it. Um, I would totally try them on if they were my size. Let's see what size they are. They're 28. So they may fit me. I might have to try them on, but <laughs> these are awesome. Um, I don't know what I can sell them for, but I'm kind of just excited to have them. <laughs> Next, this is Eileen Fisher, a uh, size petite small, and these are 100% linen. I love getting Eileen Fisher 100% linen. Blue tag, which means they were $3. Um, I hate picking up white because inevitably I always find a flaw. So once I steam these, I'll be able to better understand what flaw is on these ones. But I love Eileen Fisher. And again, I'm sure it will sell for a decent amount of money. Oh, geez. Oh, man. Okay. All right. <laughs> um, next is Peter Millar. So Peter Millar has been doing really well for me recently. I had, I did retail arbitrage at Marshall's and I've sold uh, maybe five pieces from Peter Millar new with tags, but it within, you know, days or a week. So I'll keep picking up Peter Millar as I find it, but these are just men's khakis. They're a size 35. Um, and I'm, I can probably sell these for, I don't know, maybe $50. I'll have to see what comps look like, but, um, maybe 40 to $50. And hopefully there aren't any flaws on it when I do steam it. Next, we have AG's, Adriana Goldschmidt again. So these are the Prima cigarette leg, and these are corduroy. So they're a blue corduroy, and I I just love corduroy and kind of the unique pieces that aren't just jeans. But these are pretty, um, you know, cigarette leg, so it's more of a straight leg. And I just, I love them. I love them. <laughs> All right, next, uh, we have two of these. So these are writing pants. So this is Made in France Vertigo. Um, here's the tag. These are like equestrian writing pants. So I have two pairs of them. And I think in my last haul or the haul before, I had a pair of equestrian pants and they were by Carrots. I talked about the brand Carrots. They're very popular. Those sold within a day. And then when I was going to package everything up, I realized there was a, a tear in the back seam, like literally like right here in the butt. And so I was like, Ugh. and so I, you know, I had to write the woman a note and just tell her, explain that they were damaged and that I didn't feel comfortable sending them to her because I don't want to send damaged products that aren't disclosed, but also because of the material, it was kind of on the seam, but the way the material was, it just, it was not something that would be easy to fix. And um, so I didn't end up selling them to her. I just threw them away, which I feel terrible about, but it is what it is. So we'll see. And those sold for like, I think 40 or $50 really fast within a day. Must have been 50, I think. Um, okay, so here's the other pair. It's just a different shade, um, but same thing, equestrian riding pants. They're in excellent condition. I It looks like these were like never worn. So I'm curious to look those up and see, see what those go for. 
Next is a brand I don't pick up very much anymore, but these are Joe's jeans. You might have a couple in here, I can't remember. And these are white, so another reason I typically don't, <laughs> something I wouldn't pick up. They're size 27, the fit is honey, but it looks like it's a, a flare leg here. Um, just white jeans, they actually are in great condition. They, they don't look to be worn. I mean, isn't everybody afraid to wear white? <laughs> just get them stained all the time. Um, maybe it's just me. <laughs> Uh, next is another brand I don't typically pick up. So this is Sanctuary. There you go. I believe they're sold at Nordstrom or Nordstrom Rack. And this is, I do like this color though. Um, and the front pockets are unique. It's not your typical pockets. And then it also is, uh, maybe this is a straight leg, but just a nice, nice pair of pants for $6. We'll see what happens. Next, these also are riding pants, equestrian pants by Rumpf. <laughs> that's, that's just, why, why do people name their companies things that, you know, like, um, that are hard to pronounce? So, Ruth's Chris, like, why? You're just, <laughs> I, maybe to watch people try and make you say it? Anyways, um, R-O-M-F-H, here's the tag. Um... And these are just gray riding pants. Really, really good condition. I don't see a tear in the butt, so uh, we might be in business with these. We'll see how much those go for, I'm not, I'm not sure. Next, uh, this is half off. This is a pair of closed. I've, I have never found this brand. I don't know anything about it. They're green pants. Uh, they're in really good condition. Here's the tag. If you know anything about it, please let me know. Um, but they're just a pair of green, green, like denim pants. We'll see what happens. Oh, oh man. I've got this, this thing's falling over next to me. All right. Next is wit and wisdom. I have one other pair of these. These were half off. Um, here's the tag. I actually like the elastic waistband. Um, I see a little pull back here. I'll make sure to disclose that when I post them, but they're just khakis. They look like a skinny, skinny jean khaki. So we'll see. I'll look them up and see, see how those will do. These are new with tag. BB, new with tag. I haven't purchased BB in forever, but there used to be, you know, I remember when it showed up in the mall when I was in like high school and everybody was all about it. I think more they're like active wear, um, but anyway, so this is a wide leg, like trouser, career pant, and it's got, it's new with tags, so it retailed for $119. So we'll see how that does. I, I like new with tag stuff. It, I think it draws a, another crowd into my closet that maybe wouldn't be there. Um, okay, so I also love picking this up. I've only found it one other time. This is Escada, and these are super lightweight. The material on these is 78% new wool. I talked about that in my last video. I have no idea what new wool is. If you know, let me know. 20% um, silk and 2% elastane. So these are really, really nice. They're in near perfect condition from what I can tell. Um, looking at it, there's a side zipper here. I'm really excited to look up comps for these and steam them and have them looking amazing. All right, these are another pair of Joe's jeans. Very similar to the first pair. S straightly, I think there's a little, you know, stain there. I don't know if it's a stain or if it's just a mark, but Work I have to do with white pants that I hate doing with white pants. Um, next, another pair of Madewell jeans. These are just, or I don't know if these are jeans really. These are pants, they're not denim, they're skinny jeans, or skinny pants, and they're purple. And I think that is so much fun. So they're the skinny ankle pants, they're size two, they're cotton and spandex. So very comfortable, super lightweight, pretty thin. Um, really comfortable material. So I'm excited to look those up. All right, I've already posted these. So this is a pair of free people. They're a cropped raw hem jean, size 28, uh, and they're high rise. So 
all of those things are, you know, good things to be looking out for, but those are already posted. Um, these are uh, also already posted. So these are Citizens of Humanity. So I used to not pick up Citizens of Humanity. I don't know if I was watching a reseller and they were like, oh, well, you know, that doesn't sell well for me. So I was like, ah, I'm not gonna pick it up. Um, and then I purchased a pair of Citizens for Humanity. I posted them on eBay and within a couple days they sold for like $75. So then I'm like kicking myself trying to think of the other times that I saw Citizens of Humanity and didn't pick them up. So now I'm on a roll with picking these up and hopefully they're sell they're gonna sell well for me. Um, I'm sure a lot of that is based on the style. I think they were like a, a boyfriend style, but these are a straight leg, maybe a little bit of a flare on them. They've got really nice stitching across the top, which I think is really, really pretty or makes it look expensive. Um, we'll see how these do. Hopefully another 75 bucks, but I don't know what the style if I can sell them for that. Uh, I'm just gonna put these over here since I know I posted them. Next is another pair of Madewell pants. I love these pants. Um, I can't fit into them right now. I think they're size 26. They're just, they're the skinny, skinny, like dark washings. They're in like perfect condition. I love that. So I have these listed for $50 in my Poshmark closet and on eBay. I think free people I have listed for $40. Um, and Citizens of Humanity, I can't remember. Sorry. <laughs> the last pair of jeans that I already have posted. I have a whole stack of jeans that aren't posted, but um, this is denim by Alexander Wang. So I was very excited to find these pants. These are in super good condition. Uh, they're in great condition. It's the Colt side zip. And so you can see the side zip here, really nice. These are size 31 and they're women's, just straight leg black jeans. Um, high rise. I, I just love it. I love everything about them. I've never found Alexander Wang. Um, I know it's expensive retail and so I'm super, super happy to have found those. Um, and those are listed. I believe I have them listed for $88. All right, moving on to the rest of the jeans. So here I've never picked these up before. They give me uh, like Miss Me and Rock Revival vibes a little bit. Um, they're more like, well, I guess these aren't really rhinestones, a couple of rhinestones, but anyways, True Lux jeans. Um, haven't heard of it before, I need to look them up. They're a little bit of a flare leg or maybe boot cut. Let's see if there's a name on here. No. But anyways, I'm gonna look these up. Hopefully they make me lots of money. It's my goal with all this stuff. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, again, $9.99 for jeans. Unless they were blue, then they were $5. Next is Pilcro on the letterpress. So these are anthropology. I do like picking up Pilcro on the letterpress. I like picking up all anthropology. I know it's pretty saturated, but I, I just love picking them up. Uh, looks like it's maybe a boot cut jean. Um, these are the Stet jeans and I've sold the Pilcro on the letterpress, letterpress Stet jeans before. So we'll see, maybe $35, maybe that's what I'll post them for. Bad check comps. Fashion is always changing. So um, one brand may be worth a ton of money like one day and then a few months later it's completely changed. So I've got to see where the market's at now and that's how I decide, determine how I'm gonna price them. Um, another Citizens of Humanity pickup, this is the Rocket High Rise Skinny. I love all of those terms. High rise and skinny are always doing well for me. These are actually really, the material is super soft. Um, they're a size 26, so I'm excited to get those listed. Oh, and look, there's some puckering, of course, in the crotch there. So this puckering um, is something you don't wanna see. Um, I'll, I'll have to just disclose it and hope that somebody still wants them, but I'll probably discount them pretty, pretty significantly versus what I would have listed them for if they didn't have that. Let's see, this next is again, Pilcro on the letterpress. These are super script, size 27, really cute front. I love the pocket detail here with the gold buttons. The buttons have a little bit of wear on them, um, but nothing that I think is really gonna deter someone from purchasing them, but these are a super, wide leg pant. And I, I think that style is really coming back right now. 
So I'm happy to list these in my closet. And I don't see any flaws that are immediately sticking out at me. So those are in really great condition. Other than those buttons, having some a little bit of wear. All right, I've never picked this brand up before. The Stevenson Denim Finery, I think is what that says. Um, these are pretty cool. They've got some cool stitching on the, well, I guess in the front too. The buttons here, these are metal. Maybe they're, they've even got like a leather texture, maybe a faux leather texture on the buttons, but those are actually metal but they look like buttons. And then there's really cool stitching on the back as well. So these also are a wide leg, it looks like. Um, the cotton and spandex, but I don't see the, like a style name on them, but excited to kind of see how that those do. All right, next. We have G Perfect Jeans. I have not found these. I don't know what these are. The material is really soft. Uh, Gina Tricot, I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, but the material is really nice. It's got the, I, what is this called? Something seam. It's, it's a undone seam <laughs> raw hem, which is a, a pretty trendy style. And it also has holes in the knees. Um, it looks like they, they're pretty worn in the knees, which is fine. They're very, very comfortable material. So, uh, I think these will do well. All right. So this must be an old miss me pant because look at this tag and correct me if I'm wrong, but look at the back there. It doesn't have the bling on these pants. It doesn't have the, you know, typical giant here, you know, these are miss me pants that everybody can tell from a mile away and it's embroidered on the inside. And then it's got this really nice, like, I don't know if this is silk. It feels like silk. There's no way this is silk. I don't see it on here, but the, the tag still looks the same. So on the inside, this is what all the other tags look like for miss me it says miss me on the hardware. It's, it's Kind of, kind of funky, but I think it's fun to stumble upon. So these are also a wide leg pant. Um, I think, I hope they're coming back into the style. The pockets aren't super significant. I don't know how stylish that is right now, but we'll look those up. It's kind of fun. <laughs> um, this is seven for all mankind. I don't pick up all seven for all mankind anymore, but these are just a regular boot cut. Um, there's the label, super simple. Uh, Pants, nothing terribly special about those, but I think they'll sell. Okay, we only have a few minute, or minutes, well, I guess it, hopefully it's only a few minutes left, but we don't have too much left to go through. So another pair of AGs, these are the le legging ankle, super skinny ankle. I just sold this exact same pair of jeans for I think $45, so, um, great. Love grabbing another pair. I'm going to hope to sell them for another $45. Next Joe's again. Um, the style is, you know, it's distressed. I don't know what the style name is. Easy high water. So they must be like a, an ankle jean straight leg. We'll see how those do. Again, the material is really soft on those. I like that. Next is a pair of Paige jeans. I am really, really picky about Paige. Here's the tag. Um, the, but these are a distressed uh, raw hem skinny jean. And I like that. And Paige is also notorious for puckering, but I don't see any puckering on these jeans. So those are some of the reasons that I purchased these jeans. We'll see how they do. They were not half off, so those are $9.99. Next, I don't pick this brand up so more, so, so more, so much anymore. Um, but this is Liverpool and here's the tag. I've sold a few pairs of Liverpool, uh, for $35 each time. So we'll see. And, and fairly quickly. And these look like they're a little bit of a flare leg down there. Maybe boot cut. Yeah. Isabel skinny boot cut is the name of these jeans. The material is just really nice. I, I do love Liverpool. I think I have a few other pairs of Liverpool listed, but um, I personally like them. 
Uh, but apparently not a ton of other people like them um, or find them in my closet, I guess. Another seven for all mankind. These are also another boot cut, size 29. Again, nothing terribly special about them. So we'll move on. Hopefully they just make me money. All right, next, a brand that I don't typically pick up. This is half off. It looks like it's a skinny leg. So these are Articles of Society. Um, and these are just like a, a regular skinny leg jean. Um, so I think I can, I'll probably list them for about $30 and see what happens. I believe Articles of Society is sold at Nordstrom. Sorry, my back is starting to kill me sitting in the seat. I'm sure this video is just super long. All right, another J brand. I like J brand. These are kind of a unique, unique pants. Um, I like the bottoms of them. So they've got this cuff on the bottom. I think they're a cutoff or a, yeah, must must be like a ankle pant. Uh, we'll see how these do, but but I do like I like the style of those. I can't really wear things that cut off on the legs because I'm already really short. I'm only 5'3", so um, I try to do things that make my legs look longer, not cut me off so much. Um, and then the last thing we have here is another pair of AG, the legging ankle, super skinny ankle. These ones are, have huge holes in the knees. So we'll see. Um, I'm assuming that these, uh, maybe they were intentional. They're exactly the same on both sides. I don't know. I'm going to have to look these up. So if they weren't intentional, the person that did them, did them to look exactly the same. Um, but we'll see. There is some distressing on the back here as well. It looks intentional. So we'll see. I'm excited to look it all up. All right. That is everything. That's an incredible amount of stuff. Uh, again, it cost me $502. My largest thrift haul to date since filming. Um, I actually do have a larger thrift haul that happened after this thrift haul, um, but I'm trying to go in order. So anyways, I hope that you enjoyed it. If you're still here, I can't believe it, but thank you. I appreciate your support and I will see you in the next one. Bye.